Hey guys, Kev here. <clears throat> and I have a package from our friends at Katuo Knife. You see they're sending me a couple of noibs. So here we go. We got two Katuos. I believe this is their new Ventner 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 model. Uh Venter? I don't know much about it. Somebody at Blade Show Texas handed one to me. And I played with it for a second, and that's all I really know. Um, so, bear with me here. We have two of them. One in black and one in orange. It is a button lock, but it is a little bit unique. It actually also has a liner lock. So you can see there, it's a traditional liner lock. But you can also use it as a traditional button lock so you can flick it right and then you can close it like a button lock fun and fidgety in that sense but you don't have to worry about lockup issues really because you have a liner lock the access to the liner is not bad i mean there's not much there but you really don't need a lot to get in there now my biggest issue with this knife when i handled it at the show was you know because i went damn this is sick right um but there's no clip i wish there was a clip on this knife now i am told you can remove that ring i'm not sure how you would do that because you you need something to stabilize the frame down here right uh, you would need to put a backspacer in there, I think. I didn't see one in the box. So, I actually don't think you can remove that. Right? I don't... Like, how would you go about doing that? So, we can uh, take one apart. We'll take a look inside the beast. Um, this orange one has a nice detent. Feels crispy. This one, also nice. Yeah, they're about the same, aren't they? Let's see. Now, this one's definitely a little stronger. Works both left-handed and right-handed. Thumb flick works. Uh, there is 14C 28N blade steel on here. And you have an interesting Tanto blade shape. Look at that. Very cool. Nice tip. Sheep's footy blade. It's right here, by the way. Katuo 14C 28N. Venter. That's the name of the knife, I guess. So let's crack into it. Uh, which one should we take apart? I don't know. I guess the one I like better is the one with the stronger detent. So let's take the other one apart. Um, they're both good, though. So it looks like we have T6s. Right, Cha, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, kind of wish that was a T8. Be cool. Okay, we have a spinning pivot situation, so I'm going to get my handy dandy Skiff Workshop finger bit. Definitely check out Skiff Workshop, guys. They are awesome, and they have good tools like this to help us in this situation. That is a. There we go. Ooh. There we go, coming out. Thought that was acting funny. Pivot side, there we go. So here's the screw, came out the other side. And then you have these two at the end. Yeah, the guys at the show said you could take out this ring, but I'm not seeing how you would do that. You'd need something to place there, right? We have a little thing that came out, so let's... Calm down here, Kev. We're missing a screw. Where is it? Got that screw. I swear it's in here. So it's like stuck to this. No? Here's this plate. We have this screw here. Oh, it's stuck to the driver. It's like, where the hell is that? Alright. So... 
this comes off. There's your button attached to this frame. That's interesting. Your lockup is right there. And yeah, you can add a little pressure like that if you wanted to. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. But yeah, they just kind of bolted on this uh, thingamabobber, Jimmy. There's some shit all up around in here. So let's clean her up. Tiny bearings. We're talking really tiny bearings. So let's just clean everything here. Those are just burrs, it looks like. I don't know what the heck's going on there. You see that? All of that here. That's just metal hanging off. It's not interfering or anything. Oops, so it shouldn't matter. Here's your bearing, just a tiny little guy. We can get our skiff. Another awesome tool from Skiff Workshop, the uh, bearing sizer. The bearing sizer, I call it. Um, this is going to be a one millimeter bearing. Yeah, that is a tiny little guy right there. So one millimeter bearings, and your pivot is a... Wow, four millimeter pivot. So four mil, one mil. I don't think I have replacements. I'm not looking to swap these out anyway, but just interesting. So this guy comes off of here. Now, I don't know how you would replace it. I guess you could buy, if they sold it, a flat one, right? But you can't replace it. I mean, yeah, you sure you could flip it over like this, but then the blade's gonna be whacking into it. So I don't see how that would work. Right, blade's gonna hit, so that doesn't work. And if you take it out, oh. oh, there is a barrel, so yeah. If you just took it out, I suppose, you could put it back together. We can test it. Sorry, I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't think of that. So let's see, put that pivot back in. Just get a little bit of KPL here. We don't want to go crazy. That is a big ass um, detent hole for such a small knife. Or so, small bearings. Look at that detent hole, just ginormous. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of heavy. And when I say a little, I mean too much, of course, as usual. There we go. A little bit of come original. Get that onto the bearings here. Put the bearing down, drop our blade on. Now the button situation. We'll see how that goes. I don't know how that lines up. Washer came out, so let me just pop this on like that. Then the washer will go on top. The button, I guess it just plops right through. It shouldn't really make a difference, yeah. And then this pops on top of that. Popping and locking. Then we have this thing. What the heck is this thing? Those are the standoffs down there. Oh, stop pin. It's your stop pin, sir. Yeah, I gotta take this off. Stop pin goes like this. Nice stout stop pin, okay. Interesting the way they did that. So then you would drop this guy on there and this guy, I need to be able to pick it up. Oh, God. See, that's what happened the first time. It just slid out of there. It's a little difficult to keep in line. You need like forceps. You gotta keep taking everything apart here. There we go. Had to just lock it in. Just 
Got to lock down the other side. Yeah, so you can take that out. I'm not sure why you would necessarily. But as you can see, it does function. Oops. It does function uh, without the locked up right it's not locking up something's wrong um but it does seem to function without it maybe oh, i haven't tightened the pivot enough looks like i'm just trying to show you it would work but i want to put it back i want to keep that in so i just don't want to go too far before i drop that back in All right, so we're gonna pop everything back off. We're gonna put this guy in. Now, here's a good question. Does it matter which way? Oh yeah, there's a front and a back. There you go. So now we can slide this guy through again. Drop that on, pop that in place. Pop this in. Can only go so far because I need to uh, hold down the other side. I also have that button pressed against the table right now just want to get it together enough that our stop pin won't want to pop out on us get this down a little bit tighter all right so everything's in there tight and then we just need to get this situated Let me get this. There we go. And tighten that down. Still not perfectly centered. I think I know what happened. Well, let's just see. Yes. So you can over tighten this guy, seems like. Ah, okay, yep. It was over tightened. I thought it might have been the uh I thought it might have been the washer, but no. Now it's nice. No play, no rock, locked up, drops pretty good, and she's pretty centered. So I think it's just a matter of getting that uh, pivot dialed perfectly, which I think the easiest thing to do here would be to Loctite it. So I'm just going to remove it again. It looks like it does come out the other side, right? Is that... Keep... Yeah. go. So we're going to clean off the pivot screw. Interesting design. And we're going to take a little bit of Loctite. Get that on the screw there. Drop that bad boy in. Get her going. Can get her pretty much perfect without even needing the skiff guy there. Yeah, we're tight. Maybe a little too far.
can't remember which side. There we go. No play. No rock. We are locked up. Shakes down. Centering pretty dang good. You can see the liner over there on that side, but I think that's just how this is set up with the lock bar in there. And we have another example to check. Yeah. That lock bar is just more exposed on one side because you have a lock bar. Sorry, liner. You can see lock up is about the same on each, so. Yeah, centering about the same. So I'm gonna let this one sit and I'll keep flicking this one for a second. Um, yeah, definitely not the easiest disassembly ever, um, but now that I know how it works, I think it's pretty, it's pretty simple to me. Um, Pretty cool. I just wish it had a pocket clip. If it had a pocket clip, this thing would be sick. And if it didn't have a, if it doesn't have the clip, would have been cool if this was like a carabiner or something. Instead of just a, a, you know, you could hook it to one, I guess. Great reverse flick. Um, good ergonomics. I didn't talk about that. It's comfortable in the hand. I can get a full grip on it. You have some jimping, which is not very aggressive. Feels pretty dang sharp. Um, Tanto grind there. Got the cool button with the liner lock built in, which is nice. Yeah, very cool. So that is the Katuo Ventner or Ventner. I will uh, link it down below if you guys are interested. I think I have an affiliate link with them. Been trying to get it set up. Um, if you guys want to use it, you can. Helps the channel, but you don't have to. I'll make sure to pass around at least one of these. And uh, let me know what you guys think. The G10's cool. Um, I, I really just wish it had a clip. Maybe they'll sell one that attaches. Like just one of those V clips you see from like Heretic or something would fit on there. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, because I know a lot of people probably really like this, but how are you going to carry it if you don't have a clip? Right? So let me know your thoughts on it. Sorry for the rambling and everything. Um, here's this one again. Yeah, feels fine. All right, love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.